talk about something new. What are we going to talk about? <sighs> and you guys feel free to submit questions over here. I will more than happily answer them for you all. So let's see. Ah. Oh, I like this one. So I, right now I have a song that's playing where it's like, don't mess up my high, my high, right? And that makes me think of a concept you know, that I was exposed to at a young age, like in middle school. I have vivid memories of every time I went inside my cafeteria, there was this poster, you know, this big, nice poster. And what it says was, what is your natural high? And that resonated with me. I was like, it made me think like, and then, you know, I had a picture of a, of a kid playing music, right? He was like in his zone doing his thing. And to him, he was high. That was his natural high. That's what he loved to do. He loved to play music, right? And that made me come to think like, why do you need these illicit substances when you yourself can put you in these states of quote unquote high? Like that state of mind that you want to be in, that you're chasing ultimately with these drugs and substances and you know, and that's not to say that you're forbidden from doing them, but now growing up, I've always been you know, discouraged from that. I've always been hesitant, you know, when offered those things, right? Those substances. And what I found myself in doing, and you can even say it's another way because I was a huge gamer back in my day. I played Call of Duty. I played all the skateboarding <laughs> games. It's our hero high. And those games made me feel high felt great while, while I was doing them and it's not to say that they took up a lot of my time and took a bite in my grades because I will admit to you that they're very time consuming but those highs were the things that I was chasing the high of winning a match the high of beating my friends and going up the leaderboards but you know now as I've stopped playing the video games, I put my heart and soul into different endeavors. And also at that time, it started transitioning to, you know, my love for baseball. You know, I went from mega gamer to mega ball player. That's what I want to do. I ate, sleep, slept, drank, and pissed out baseball. That was my thing. So, my new high, my new natural highs became hitting a home run or when I was pitching, striking everyone out and winning that game and the championship and everything within that sport. So that was one big thing, you know, that I've come to realize is that those highs can be recreated in whatever you want them to be. They can simply be boiled down you know in an argument to simple dopamine hits in your brain that's what it boils down to because when you win or you hit the target you achieve what you wanted to achieve your brain gets a hit of dopamine it gets a rush of that you know happy chemical that makes you like realize like i did this now i achieved this I feel awesome. And although that feeling can be fleeting, right? It doesn't last forever. That feeling of winning, you know, you'll come down from that eventually, right? But that in and of itself is the high. That's what's producing it. This is dopamine. So why, if you can recreate those same chemical rushes, doing other things, arguably more productive, things that'll probably build you a better future. Why would you not do those things that 
benefits you in the long term over those that simply just benefits you in the short term and actually hurt your long-term ability and hinder your potential success <clears throat> which in and of itself that success can be defined many different ways no it doesn't have to be a million dollars in your bank account you know or a six-pack or you know reading every book out there right that success can be whatever you want it to be but for that success you know it's still those same dopamine hits you know on your way to achieving your mark whatever it may be and why would you lie to yourself in a sense because you know it's essentially lying like it's fake you know it's not real achievement that you'd argue right it's almost a false sense of uh of i did something even though it's kind of not and that's not to say that you can have some great times you know being high or drunk or in whatever altered state of consciousness that you might come to terms with but in that state you might feel on top of the world like this is amazing this is great but on the outside looking in your friends around you that are essentially sober and haven't done anything you look like the same dude or maybe even worse that you were around you know you might argue of course that like alcohol or whatever or weed loosens you up calms you down you might have more swag might help you out you know in terms of talking to the ladies but in essence what have you really done and i'll say practically nothing you're still sitting on that same couch that you were you know just this time you have either a blunt in your hand or like some alcohol or a, a bottle of a uh, heineken or whatever so you get it so by me learning that made me more goal oriented you know instead of simply you know chasing my dream which at the time was making the major leagues you know i hate to break it to you that didn't really work out but who knows now well who cares but i started to set out small objectives small little dopamine hits you know get a hit this game get a hit the next game get two hits get a home run and what that did was it set me up for and i can't remember the exact term but it was like a reward pattern it was like i kept getting these small dopamine hits that kept me on the course to get the big dopamine hit which was to be promoted to the next league you know and so on you know and that's one thing for you at home why complicate your life and make your goal seems so far-fetched and so hard and all these lofty 20-year goals you know it takes so long to do and you probably will get discouraged from doing them but that's not to say that they're bad of course you want to have those but along the way you want to be doing something you know, to feel better about yourself and understand that you're on the way and that's where those smaller goals come into play you don't want to have just huge goals that take forever to hit and you're like wondering you're lost like you know what am i doing why am i doing this i see no progress although a lot of it would be in your mind but that's uh one thing so yeah so we were talking about the concept of smaller goals versus the bigger goals you know you want to have that checklist of goals you know have everything written down so you know what you're doing it's not just sitting in the back of your mind ruminating causing stress and worry you know you want to have those down like official you know there's a saying i think it is in law or something like that like criminal stuff or whatever it's like if it didn't happen no 
if it's not written down it didn't happen and you can apply that to future stuff you know if it's not written down it won't happen it's simply a chance occurrence at that point like it's like by some luck you ended up doing it like because you were simply reminded like you reminded yourself to do it like why do that why put yourself through that extra strain and stress when you can just simply have it there in a the book for you to look back and you know keep yourself on track when you're doing that goal as lofty as it may seem as hard as it may seem it'll make things a lot easier for you along the way so <laughs> keep on track with those small goals and trust me trust me trust me the big ones you'll get them you'll do it but be patient don't rush it take your time enjoy the path and someday you'll look back and you'll be smiling at how you felt today the stress that you felt worry anxiety all that was pretty much for nothing you know because you didn't need it all you had to do was do the goal work on yourself and that in and of itself was what propelled you to achieving that mark that rank that promotion whatever you're striving to get so with that that's how you do it how you do those large goals how you get those achievements <laughs>